everybody. My name is Luke Chapman. This is God's Vision, a Ministry of Fire. I'm glad for everyone that's tuned in today. And uh, if you would, continue to turn in every week. Uh, tune in every week. Uh, uh, Sunday at 4, we're on. And uh, God has a lot of things that He's going to be teaching and preaching about and ministering the Word uh, that will minister to you, that will talk to you and feed you. And uh, God's will is and desire is to nurture you to your spiritual potential. Today's sermon is going to be about you're on a spiritual journey. God wants you to realize that uh, uh, on a spiritual journey, uh, you're supposed to accomplish some things uh, on, on your spiritual walk with God. Uh, there's things that God wants to say to you, uh, reveal to you, uh, and, and nurture you to uh, have a great understanding of things. But there's a lot of people in the body of Christ that aren't being nurtured. They aren't growing like they're supposed to. And they're not arising to the spiritual potential that God really desires. Uh, there's a, also the side of the spiritual journey that we're on uh, to uh, work in labor for God and to be busy about the Father's business. Uh, there's things that God wants to do. Uh, and hallelujah, uh, if you want to know what God wants you to do, uh, just begin to pray and uh, uh, knock on the door of heaven, Lord. Uh, the Father, the heart of the Father. And just the, the Word says in... Uh, uh, Matthew 7 and 7. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. And knock and it shall be opened unto you. God has some things in mind for you. But He's going to leave it up to you to uh, let go of the world. And start calling upon His name. And start searching for answers. Searching for His will. Start asking God. Say, Lord, what do you got for me to do on my spiritual journey? What do you want me to do? So ask Him to raise you up. Nurture you and help you to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Help you, uh, ask Him to help you to reach the lost. Help you to go out into the world and compel the lost to come in. Hallelujah. God wants you to know that uh, you are on a spiritual journey and you need to realize it. And, uh, you know, we need to step out of this flesh, our fleshly mind thinking, and realize that we're in a spiritual walk with God. God is a spirit. And them that worship God must worship Him in spirit and truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. We must learn some things. Hallelujah. God wants us to, to be busy about His business. And God has things that He wants us to do. And many people in the body of Christ doesn't really realize how important uh, it is for you to reach your spiritual potential so that you can fulfill God's will. Hallelujah. Uh, God wants you to realize you're on a spiritual journey. And then he wants you to know you're on a lifelong journey. Hallelujah. Once you get saved, your spiritual journey's just begun. You just got saved, and uh, God's got things that he wants you to grow into. And grow in, get, he wants you to get grounded and rooted and established in the Word of God so that he can reveal your calling to you and reveal things to you that he really wants you to do. And that. Uh, and, uh, you don't just get saved one day and uh, that's it. God wants you to realize you're on a spiritual journey and it's a lifelong walk with God. It's a lifelong journey. We're on a journey to experience some things from God's love and His grace being ministered and, and revealed unto us. And, and uh, you're supposed to arrive to the place where you can pray and press through and get answers. And have God speak to you and tell you what your calling is. Manifest the anointing unto you. Manifest His gifts unto you. Whatever you're ordained to and predestinated to walk in, you're supposed to grow to that, to have an understanding of that. So the spiritual blinders that you were born in when you was born in flesh are wiped away so that God can enlighten you, hallelujah, and make you understand that He has something that He wants you to do. And for some, you know, it might not be uh, go out into the world and preach the gospel into the nations. But God does have someone that He's going to call to go out to preach the gospel unto the nations and unto the world. The Word says, to whom much is given is much required. There's a price to pay. Hallelujah. But God wants you to realize that if you're going to arrive to anything in your spiritual potential, you're going to have to have a walk and a fellowship with God. You're going to have to have a communion with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. For Him to do the work and, uh, that He does in the body of Christ that He does in each individual that's uh, received His baptism. 
Hallelujah. God wants you to know that you're on a prayerful journey. On your spiritual journey, you need to be praying. Uh, prayer is really important. It always will be all the days of your life that you're walking upon this earth. Not just prayers for your needs, not just prayers for circumstances or when troubles come, uh, but hallelujah, you need to be praying about the, what God wants for your life. What God wants for your church or your ministry. You need to be even praying for the move of God and for a great revival on this earth. And that God will make a way that He can reach out and touch the lost. And, and uh, win them and bring them in. And pull them out of the lake of fire so that their names can be written in the lay, Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. God wants you to realize you've got a part to do in your spiritual journey for the body of Christ. You are a member of the church of Jesus Christ and God's got something for each and every one of us to do for Him. Many people doesn't know that. They don't really realize it. They occupy a bench in the church and uh, some of them don't even help tithe and keep the churches running. Some don't even support a minister to, to take the word out into the world. And uh, a lot of people, and I'll tell you, it's uh, kind of hard, but God's been supplying the finances to preach the word. But you know what? It's supposed to be the body of Christ helping a minister and supporting a ministry to take the word into the world. And the minister should not be having to pay for everything out of his own pocket or hers. It's not the way it's supposed to be. But you know what? God will have to speak to someone if they want to take a part. Someone's going to have to open up your heart, open up your pocketbooks, and open up yourself in prayer and say, Lord, what do you want me to do? How much do you want me to give? Is this the ministry you want me to uh, help? Because God's got something for everyone to do, and God needs supporters to help launch us even out into the world to preach the gospel. And where you can't go, we can. I'm willing to go wherever God wants me to go. I'm willing to just preach whatever God wants me to preach. Uh, but everything I teach and preach, it'll be in the Word of God. Uh, it'll be biblical and based on the Scriptures of Jesus Christ and the doctrines of the Word of God. Hallelujah. And I won't go outside the truths and the secrets uh, and the blessings or, uh, that the Word of God teaches. Because the Word of God is, is what every preacher and teacher must base the teachings and the things that they proclaim by preaching unto the church. It's got to be in the Word of God. And according to Scriptures, rightly dividing the Word of truth. Hallelujah. So, we're a ministry that believe in uh, everything that is in the Bible. That's what we minister there's certain subjects on certain lines of certain teachings that God will have me minister along those certain lines. But everything that we preach and teach in uh, this ministry of God's vision, the ministry of fire, will be in the Word of God. I never want to be a part of anything or anyone that will misguide somebody or steer them away from the Word. All ministers of the gospel on our spiritual journey should be leading everyone unto the Bible, unto God's Word, directing them toward Jesus, directing someone toward God, toward the Holy Spirit, toward the Bible, toward prayer. Hallelujah. Leading everyone toward our Heavenly Father. And you can't go wrong. As long as you stay in the Word and scripturally base your teachings and uplift the name of Jesus. It's all about our Lord Jesus. It's about our Savior and what He's done and what He's going to do and what He wants to do in your life, in your heart. Hallelujah. Jesus wants to do so much that people just doesn't realize how much He can do and how much He can work in your circumstances. How much that He can take a bad situation and turn it around for the good. I've had it happen to me. I'll tell you what, I'm walking in a blessing right now that uh, I'm living on a land uh, that God uh, uh, told me to purchase and it had a school on it. And I've always been praying a little bit, Lord, please uh, make a way that we can get this school tore down. And all of a sudden, yesterday, 
someone had started tearing it down and they would secretly kept it away from me. But when they started taking the machine and digging in this other section of the school, I told him, I said, what's going on? He said, well, I told him not to take any money from you. And I told him, just tear the school down. And God is blessing me for ministering his word and staying faithful to him and staying in prayer and trusting in him and living a life of holiness. And hallelujah, I thank him for what he's just done. I got a miracle of God tearing my school down off our land so that we can have a, 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 our land clean and then be able to do whatever we need to do to make it right, uh, to look good and get rid of the eyesore of the school. Hallelujah, and it's a blessing because it costs a lot of money to have someone come in and tear school down. But God has worked out a miracle for me that he's doing, he's tearing down our school for free right now. And I thank the man, hallelujah, that's doing this for me because he's blessing me, he's blessing my wife, he's blessing our home, and I pray a blessing upon him and his life for it. Hallelujah. Just had to let you know, God is hearing people when they pray. He'll hear your cries. He'll hear your prayers. You're on a spiritual journey of prayer. You need to realize that you're on a prayerful journey. Hallelujah. And prayer is how we walk with God and talk with Him. And it's, it's important how we conduct ourselves before Him too, because He's watching us. Hallelujah. You're on a journey of learning and growing. God wants you to know that you're supposed to be growing spiritually and you're supposed to be learning things. There's a lot of God's children that are not growing like they should be because they're not learning. They're not hearing the word like they should. They're not having uh, uh, apostles and prophets ministries that are larger teachings, a uh, certain subject of the Bible ministered to them. That's for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, for them to grow to their spiritual potential. And so there's many that's suffering and they're not rising to their spiritual potential and they're not arriving to their destiny. They're not walking in anointing and they're not walking in gifts. They don't know their callings. And this isn't God's will. Uh, God wants you to realize that you're supposed to be learning things. The Holy Spirit was baptized in us to be our spiritual teacher, to lead and guide us into all truth. He's our spiritual teacher to teach us some things. So we're in school of the Spirit, as I call it. We're supposed to be learning some things. I've been praying uh, in the Spirit for uh, 20 years now. And for 20 years now, God's been speaking to me. And for 20 years, God's been revealing truths and secrets to me and spiritual blessings and lead and guide me into the deeper things of God. And uh, had me write many books on different subjects that I minister along these certain lines. And you know what? It's because of the walk we have with God, realizing that we're on a spiritual journey and that... Uh, on our spiritual journey, you must realize that you must be learning some things. God's got some things to teach you. You can learn them through a ministry, but the Holy Spirit in you, can God has a, a great deal of things to reveal to you and teach you that no one can take the place of His ministry. For the purpose that God sent Him and baptized Him in us. He's got... Uh, many things to reveal and show you and lead and guide you into. And God wants you to realize this. And if this isn't taking place in your life, then you'll really not grow to your spiritual potential as the Holy Spirit anointing and gifting you and revealing God's ordained will unto you. Because it's the Holy Spirit that's going to teach you these things and rise you to your spiritual potential and anoint you to walk out God's will. Hallelujah. Uh, growing up spiritually is God's plan in mind for you to understand His divine will for your life. But it is revealed unto you by His Holy Spirit, as we just said. So God's divine will for you and me 
is revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Uh, comparing, uh, it, comparing spiritual things with spiritual that the Holy Ghost teacheth. And the Apostle Paul said that he's not teaching uh, with man's wisdom, but he's teaching things which the Holy Ghost teaches. Today I'm teaching things which the Holy Ghost teaches. Things that he taught me. Uh, I minister along the lines of everything that the Holy Spirit teaches me. Because that's what God told me to do. It's what I'm commissioned to do. I'm ordained to walk out God's will. I'm ordained to walk out the vision that God birthed forth unto me and to minister along to certain lines of this uh, certain teachings uh, as the vision that God birthed forth unto me and uh, as God's given me spiritual understanding to preach and teach the revelation uh, that He's given unto me. He told me to teach His people what He has taught me uh, and it's my obligation to the church of Jesus Christ uh, to take a stand in, uh, on my spiritual journey. It's my obligation to minister along these lines of these teachings today it happens to be about you're on a spiritual journey hallelujah how many really realize that you're on a spiritual journey and that you're on a prayerful journey and that you're on a lifelong journey and it's to learn and be taught God's will and have it manifested unto you so that you can walk it out we're God's hands we're his feet we're his mouthpiece God is waiting on us He's waiting on you to arrive to your spiritual potential, your place of ministry. He's waiting for you to speak to that one that needs saved. He's waiting for you to witness and be a light unto someone. He's waiting on you to stand up and testify when His Spirit is dealing with your heart. You have an obligation to tithe into a church or tithe into a ministry when God's put, put it in your heart. When He's placed it in you, when the Holy Spirit says it's time to do something, it's time. It's His leading he, that He's giving you, and you need to obey Him. Hallelujah. Obedience unto God's Spirit is really important for your spiritual growth. And God wants you to know it. A spiritual journey cannot be compared to fleshly thinking or perceiving things. Hallelujah. Our fleshly mind will see things in this realm according to the way that we was raised up uh, in the earthly realm, you know, with our school teachers, uh, people that taught us things in college, or as we are self-taught with some things. But you know what? Spiritual things aren't taught the same way. Hallelujah. God said it again. Uh, a spiritual journey cannot be compared to fleshly thinking. So your spiritual journey is uh, you walking with God, you calling upon Him through prayer, you serving Him in the beauties of holiness, which is your reasonable service, you learning to walk godly and honorably before the Father all the days of your life, and learning how to have communion with Him and learning how to pray in the spirit of tongues that He gave you, so that He can make intercession for you according to the will of God with groanings which cannot be uttered. God wants you to realize that He loves you, but He's got something for you to do. He's got something for me to do. He's got something for you to do. And for you that aren't learning things and aren't growing and aren't being nurtured, tune in to this ministry and start listening to some of the things that we minister about. And I guarantee you that you'll hear things that most ministers, a lot of ministers aren't ministering about and these things that we're teaching and preaching are based on the Word of God. We don't go away from the Bible. And they will nurture you in your spiritual growth. And God will point out things that you need to realize so you can start praying about them. So that when you go into your prayer chamber and set your sight of self for God and go into prayer, you can start talking to God about what you heard this minister say on TV. Hallelujah. Isn't it nice to know that God's made a way that you can be taught things and you can learn things and you can grow? Hallelujah. You don't got to stay a baby in Christ, but you can be nurtured to your spiritual potential of being a adult. Hallelujah. The way you can become uh, one day sent by the Holy Ghost. Uh, sent out into the world to do what God's uh, called you to do and ordain that you walk out for Him, whatever it may be, according to your gifts and callings that God's called you into. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you would, I want you to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Uh, 
We're going to read verse 13 and 14. The word says this, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Did you hear that? But which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Did you hear that? They're spiritually discerned. Hallelujah. Uh, it's very important for us to gain the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. I, I, I want you to turn to Colossians uh, 3 and 10. But I'm going to go on a little further and elaborate on this a little bit. Um, um, being taught things that are revealed to you and de or discern is a different way of being taught, being taught by the Holy Ghost. And it's not like having a minister that's in the flesh, like me ministering to you. It's God's Spirit, the Comforter, that He sent and baptized in us that He's the representative of heaven to reveal God's divine will to you and me. To open up our understanding, to renew our mind, to retrain our thinking, to pass God's knowledge unto us, to spiritually educate you, so that you'll have something to preach and something to teach unto the body of Christ, so that you can feed them the real food instead of uh, Blue John milk, so you can nurture them to spiritual health, and minister things to them that will make them grow. That's in the Word of God and you'll be able to explain the Word of God and pre uh, preach it, which is proclaiming the Word of God unto them about the spiritual blessings that they can uh, be entered into and so they can go on in their walk with God and uh, be entered into a deeper fellowship with God and God can manifest everything He's always ordained that they grow to know and experience and be a partaker of. Hallelujah. In Colossians 3 and 10 it says this, And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. God wants you to know that we're supposed to be renewed in the knowledge of him. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm thankful he's paved the way that we can uh, know certain things. We can get in the word of God and read it and uh, we can start praying about it and God will show it, teach us about it and enter us into everything that he's desired. Um, it's uh, very important for us to gain the mind of Christ. That is really important. Because if you've got the mind of Christ, you'll know what to do in this life. You'll have an understanding of what God wants you to do and accomplish. Hallelujah. Ephesians, I want you to go to chapter 4. Hallelujah. Uh, we're going to read from uh, verse 15. Chapter 4, verse 15. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. God wants you to know you're supposed to grow up into him. You're supposed to grow to your spiritual potential. And also the word says that uh, he gave some apostles and prophets and some evangelists and pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, and unto the measure of the stature of Christ. Hallelujah. The stature of the fullness of Christ. So there's a, a spiritual potential you're supposed to arrive to in spiritual growth. Hallelujah. Well developed. You're supposed to be nurtured to your well developed, and you have an understanding of what you're to minister to the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, you're supposed to grow and become enlightened. By the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Uh, Ephesians 1 says this. Uh, through 16. Uh, Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of His calling, and what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. God wants you to realize that there's some things that you need to grow to. Get the Word out and begin to read it. God wants you to be enlightened and have a greater understanding than you have now. But this is a, long, a lifelong spiritual journey. It's a, it's a journey of learning and growing 
and continue learning more things as we continue to serve God. We're just about out of time for today's sermon, but God wants you to know that I've got a book out that's uh, on this subject, uh, You're on a Spiritual Journey. Uh, it's on our website, godsvision.com. Uh, godsvision.info but uh, God wants you to realize that take and go to the Lord in prayer and start asking him what his will is for your life ask him for his help that you'll arrive to your spiritual potential that the blinders can be taken off and that he can enlighten you and minister his knowledge to you and spiritually educate you so you become an adult hallelujah and I want you to tune in next week to hear our sermons Hallelujah. And everyone, God bless you. We love you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to take this time of the program to uh, introduce you to our ministry books. Uh, this one book called God's Calling and Anointing uh, is a book about callings and when God calls you into ministry. Uh, a lot of people, when they're called and given gifts of the Spirit, uh, there's many things that the Holy Spirit must teach you after he manifests the gifts of the Spirit. This book goes into detail to explain certain things about the anointing and callings so that you may have a better understanding. Uh, these books are uh, being offered and they're reasonably and affordable priced. Uh, I have other ministry books. We have like 37 now that's published and uh, 32 of them on Kindle. Uh, that you can go on our website, uh, godsvision.info, and find these books and uh, look through all the different ones and the different titles that we have. Uh, for each book, there are different uh, teaching along the certain lines of teachings that's in the Word of God for God to go into deeper detail of explaining things that I don't have time to uh, minister when I'm on television. Uh, but the books have a larger explanation in them, and the writer's anointing is a different anointing than I have uh, upon me when I preach and teach the Word. Uh, but through the writer's anointing, there's many things that's revealed and been revealed that's written in the books and captured that God would like to minister and speak unto you that will edify you and uh, perfect you and teach you things that you might not have known. There's a lot of people out there that's spiritually still growing up and need to learn a lot of things. And God is setting this fivefold ministry yet in the church for the purpose of the perfecting of the saints, uh, for the edifying of God's church. Hallelujah. God wants to offer these ministry books to teach you different things that you did not know that you could learn and grow. God wants everyone to go on in their walk with God, and He uses school books and to teach people things that they need to know. And ministry books are these kind of books for God's children that are Christians. Hallelujah.